like what I'm doing right now is brand suicide, you know? <laughs> It's industry alienation. I'm gonna be the most hated woman in this industry. But somebody's gonna do it. I'm not here to be your friend. I am here to say the truth. I am here so that my, the next generation do not have the same experiences that I did. Because I know as a society, we can do better. Hi, my name is Sharon Chita, and I'm the founder and CEO of Oma Beauty and Pull Up for Change organization. I actually entered the beauty industry by accident, and I've been ever since. I only left the industry twice, once to go to PepsiCo and the other to work in pharmaceuticals with Novartis. I'm passionate about this industry because I know how transformative it is to lives of women. With, with Oma Beauty, the focus was more about providing products for people who've been left out because this is an industry that just decided to just marginalize people, you know, for the longest time. You know, Fenty, 2017 released 40 Shades of Foundation and it was like, whoa, 2017. Brands were carrying foundations with eight shades, you know, telling people they weren't enough because that's what you do when you do not provide for people, especially marginalized people. So you talk about systemic racism, that's what we're talking about. That is within companies, it's within how they're, they're producing products. So from when you're little, you're already learning, there is no place for me here. I wanted to be part of the solution. I'm always a big advocate of talk is cheap. You know, I'm a person who I really, really hate just sitting there complaining, whinging. Once I get to that point, I say to myself, okay, you're talking, you're talking, pull up. You know, like <laughs> now three years ago, I left corporate um, because I was just done. I was just done. And, you know, even me there, you know, always the token black person who nobody's listening to, you know, to actually make any real change. I've been in these companies where we're talking about product innovation. I'm telling them this thing does not work for black people. Let me show you. I'm the only black girl here. So I can show you on my skin. And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, okay. And still release the product and market it as a universal product. Yes, let's have this conversation. And then it's just like, yeah, it's such a shame. You know, almost like, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. How is there nothing you can do about it? And so I was like, well, if you want to do nothing about it, I hope you don't mind if I go do something about it. And that was me setting up over duty. I wanted a home for all the misfits, everybody who's ever felt left out, for whatever reason. And I think most people on some level can relate to that. And I just went off on a limb, you know, not knowing what was going to happen. And, you know, my big thing was always somebody has to risk getting poor to do the right thing. Building Armor Beauty, I hired my first employees three weeks before we launched. Three weeks ago, I was a solo team. That was how mad I was about making a change. And I launched in 203 auto stores, launched in South Bridges, launched a website, launched, you know, 108 products. This is the power of a black woman. And companies are not tapping into that. So my Alma Beauty it was my protest. I was protesting with the brand. The brand is activism. I did not create a place for lipsticks, you know, and honestly, if I'm very transparent, I had the conversation with my team earlier this year and we were saying, what can we do better as a brand? Because, you know, we always hold ourselves accountable. Our actual brand tagline is beautiful rebellion because when I came out, I was like, I am here to rebel against the industry. I am not a part of the establishment. I am here to create a movement. All of us, we've been on the front line. We're out there fighting, actually fighting for Black Lives Matter. Y'all are saying Black Lives Matter? We're actively there. I got shot by the police on the weekend at close range with blanks, twice. I am five foot three size zero. Twice I got shot this weekend. This is not a joke. This is not a game. This is life. This is life to us. And you guys are sitting there posting Desmond Tutu. My Desmond Tutu, our Desmond Tutu, who was fighting for our freedom. You are oppressing us whilst quoting our freedom fighter. How disrespectful is that? They keep oppressing black people, exploiting black people. They take our culture and, and give us nothing. Streetwear is one of the biggest categories. Like it's huge. Everybody now wants to be a streetwear brand. But then where, where are the black owned businesses in that space? Okay, I was not sitting there going like, I'm not hiring white people. No, 
like, I want the best people to work for me. It's in my best interest. I'm a commercial entity. I'm not a charity. So I have no incentive to just go, I'm just going to go hire black people who are going to run my business to the ground because I want to be hiring black people. And so we have a very, very diverse team and, and it just makes our conversations rich. I wish people could be flies on the wall and hear the things we talk about. So, so that's why my team it looks the way it looks. And I'm, I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of it because over and over again, corporations said they can't find qualified black or Asians or, you know what I mean? That's why diversity has been such a problem. They cannot find qualified people. Yet I'm inundated with CVs every day of very qualified people, including even some leaders within their own organizations who are trying to leave because of the way they treat them. This is not just the beauty industry have left people out for many reasons. Color of your skin, who you love, your size, your gender. They keep telling people who to be and I don't know why they don't understand. The new generation, you ain't telling us who to be. You cannot tell us who to be. We decide who we want to be. So Pull Over Change is a direct action grassroots movement. It's a movement of the people. And the objective of this movement is to create more employment for black people specifically. We know that black people have been marginalized the black history in America and the black, it's very unique and people don't understand it. America was designed with racism. We're talking about the country that's had for black people almost 400 years now of oppression. You don't, that thing doesn't disappear in five minutes. And so for me, it's a call to action for companies that you can do better. You need to do better. We want some action. We've been talking about this for a long time. At some point, it has to be time for action. I think that time's now. And I think this was a good moment because they all came out supporting Black Lives Matter. So it was like, great, I'm so happy you're saying you're with us now. Show us you're with us. Do something about this. You are the custodians of economic participation. You have failed. Badly. Badly. Under your watch, Black people have been neglected in corporate the same way they neglected in every single part of their lives. You know, you cannot push people into poverty and then arrest them and then shoot them. Isn't that, isn't that the definition of oppression? And nobody wants to take accountability. You're putting a black tile and saying Black Lives Matter and I'm donating a million dollars. Keep your hush money, that's blood money. You have blood on your hands. And I think this was such an opportunity for brands to come to the table and see this. We don't want to bury our own anymore. It's not fun to see a video of one of our, our own his life being snuffed out right in front of our eyes by four people while he calls for his mother. We are done with that. A person jogging, being hunted like sport, whilst another person films it. We are done with that. Aren't we done with that? When's the end? And, and they want us to sit there and get richer. Get richer to do what with the money? What are we going to do with it? No matter how high you go. No matter who you are, you're nobody. You're always going to be a nobody. You can do everything right, you will be a nobody. And companies are posting black tiles right now. Right now we can have change in your posting black tiles. They've got to do better. But you're not going to keep lying to your consumers. You have to do something. America protects its own. Workers have workers' unions. Where's the diversity unions? They know how to protect white America but they will not protect black America. They put in minimum wage to protect the most vulnerable in society so they don't get exploited by companies because they know companies exploit people. I didn't start this, they started it. But I'm gonna finish this with everything in me. They think they can stay silent for 72 hours and this is going, it's not going away, I've got time. I have got time, they do not know the tenacity and resilience. That's the thing, your oppression has made us very resilient. We survive through conditions we shouldn't survive through. I'm not here to be your friend. I am here to defend our survival. We need economic participation. We need to start building black wealth. The world benefits from black culture. Everybody enjoys black culture. Everybody's profiting of black culture. When are we going to start a profit of our own culture? Investment? Only 2% of investment dollars goes to black people. 0.06% to black women. So it takes us longer to do anything. Meanwhile, the average white man walks out there and he gets 2.2 million to go start up a bad idea that is gonna fail and guess what, he's gonna get money again. We need independent diversity boards to have oversight over these companies. You cannot trust companies to do the right thing. It is not possible. You have to force them to do We have to force companies to hire women. But we make a conscious effort 
and it pays off. Every company now re reports on female employment. But when it comes to black people, they report under diversity. That's how they blanket it. So then they go like, oh, we're such a diverse team. Show me the black participation. And it's very important to single out black because every other person has not had oppression for 400 years. It is very important that we look at this group of people in isolation because it is not working out for them anywhere. So we need an independent diversity board that has oversight over industries or clusters of similar industries. And this board has to be made up of representatives from every race. So they can fight for the interests, create good strategies, work with these companies on implementing it, monitor it, report on it. We need a database for consumers. We need to have transparency, full transparency, create a standard of reporting that is unified so we can see the benchmarks, who's making progress and who's not, and work with them. And consumers must have transparency. That's what Pull Up for Change is as an organization. I mean, Pull Up or Shut Up is the first move because the campaign to really create transparency as a step one. Say, let's, let's benchmark where we are because, and let's be honest with our consumers and let's get brands to this place where they're even thinking about this because a lot of them honestly are not thinking about it. Step two, we need to set up a, an independent diversity board. What we have right now is not working. We need oversight. We need to create a benchmark, a standard, what that number needs to be. We need a smart goal. The organizations, we tell the employees all the time, create a very smart goal. We need commitments for progress and we need to be able to come back and measure it and work with them. At the end of the day, the consumers have the, we've seen cost company. I mean, what company cared about being vegan before? We fought for animals. Cruelty free, was that a thing before? Now is a thing. Consumers have power and they don't understand how much power they have. They demand they're cruelty free and now almost every brand has to be cruelty free. It's like just a benchmark now. When you don't ask for it, you don't get it. Before you demand it, it seems impossible. If you demand it, it will come. Only you have the power. Companies are there to make money. They will do anything to get your money. You have so much power. Use it for good. Demand that Black lives truly matter, period. But the consumer support has been amazing. You know, we are, we are becoming a legion. It is built, like, people are tagging people, like, I can't keep up. It's just me, and I can't keep up. People are mobilizing, you know? Like, Milk Cosmetics did something very noble yesterday by standing up and saying, we fucked up, we're part of the problem, we're sorry, how can we fix it? it the support from the community, that's why I don't know why these brands don't understand this. That post they did had more engagement than anything I've seen on the grid any anytime lately. People want this. Listen to your consumers. People always usually think it takes royalty to change the world. No, it takes people. It is the everyday person, that mom and dad, that girl, that boy, who nobody looks at twice when they walk on the streets. Those are the people who actually have the power. Every revolution in history has been carried and executed by the people. And when people discover their voice and their power, they make changes. It's time for change. And we're not going away. So to all the brands who think they're going to wait this one out, we're going nowhere. Oh, Lord. We're just getting stronger every day. And the more you are silent, the more people are going like, oh, so this is real, real. And for every brand, if you don't respond to us in the 72 hours, I'm going to make the assumption that you didn't hear us. So once it's over from tomorrow, we mobilize our group. Every day, we're going to post eight brands. And those eight brands, we're going to flood your comment section. You ain't going to sell lipsticks that day. We will tell you, since you can't hear us, we're going to flood your DMs. All you're going to see is pull up a change, pull up a change, pull up a change, pull up a change. Pull up a shut up, pull up a shut up, all the way down, until you respond. And if you choose not to respond, at least we can officially flag you and go, there is no way they did not hear. So it's high time we actually see who's who. Don't post your black tiles. Pretending like you're somebody else. Show me your true color. Pull up for real or shut up.